Hello all. I'm Wasif. Well, you don't see me in robotic voice, with no lip syncing, do you? I'm here to show you guys how I animate my bodies of the characters in my video. I will also teach you some tips and tricks along the way so watch the full video before you try for yourself. I will use After Effects for this. It's a paid software and I would suggest you support the developers. But firstly, this is not a in-depth tutorial or a tutorial of the basic of After Effects. Rather it's a basic tutorial of how I animate my body. If you don't understand After Effects, I would suggest you learn about it first. Now let's dive straight into it. Once you open up After Effects it should look kinda like this. If not, don't worry. All you need is your Timeline, Effects tab, Composition tab and your Project tab where you will load your files. Now let's create a new composition of 1080p and 60fps. Time is up to you. When it's done, make sure your background is transparent like this. Click that icon to make it transparent. Now let's make the body. Select Pen tool. Make sure the fill is off. And you have a black stroke and set it to 10. Now we draw the torso. If you want your edges of the body to be round, do as I do. Go to Contents, Shape, Stroke 1, and set the line cap to round cap. You can see the difference. Now that's out of the way, make sure you select Pen Tool, and put a point in the middle of the torso. Now you can move three points. After we adjust the torso, let's make a copy of the layer, and rename. Make sure you use Pen Tool to move the arm. Now he adjusts the arm. We will do the same to all the other layers. I'll fast forward it for you. Make sure you name your layers correctly. Seems like we are done, we just need to make some minor adjustments. Now it looks perfect. So we are done making our body for your character. You can just copy and paste this for your future project. No need to recreate. Now it's time to animate the body which is the most important part of the video. For this you must have to enable keyframe. See how I enable the path keyframe. Now let's do the same for all the layers. Now select all the layers and press U. You can see all the keyframes now. Now we will do the walk cycle. It's very tricky and hard to explain, so you must watch carefully. We have imported a background and an object that he will pick up later. For now let's focus on the walk animation. Skip 30 frames or half a second on the timeline like I did. Watch carefully. Select the left arm's first keyframe and copy it by Ctrl plus C. Now select the right arm's keyframe and hit Ctrl plus V. It'll paste the keyframe. Now do the same for the other arm. See how the arms are moving. Be careful about your timeline stamp and make sure the pasting doesn't overlap any other keyframe. Do the same for the legs. You do not have to do anything for the torso as it will not move. Now I want to stop the body movement for a little bit, as the movement will change direction. So I will copy paste the keyframes one by one. This time the keyframes will not switch layers. And now copy the first keyframe and paste it another 30 frames later. The first, fourth and the fifth keyframe has the same value, they are just copy pasted. If you did not understand what I said, look closely. I copied the first keyframe and pasted it in every layer. Now we will just extend the animation. 
just look what keyframes I copied and pasted. This will make the walk duration longer. Now play the video and do adjustments if the walk speed is fast or slow. Now to answer all your question, how is my animation so smooth? There is only one trick for that. Select all the keyframes, right click on a keyframe and click ease in. And that will do the trick. Look how smooth the animation became. Just make sure the final output is OK. If you are satisfied, put a white or green screen under it and hit render if you want a ready-made walk cycle. Now we need a head for our next animation. Gladly, Tyler wants to be the guinea pig. Oh well, welcome Tyler. He will pick up the glass and drink from it. Let's see how it's done. Select the arm, select the arm or the body part you want to animate. For me it's the left arm. Then hit U, you can now see all the keyframes. Set a keyframe for the current time by hitting this icon. Now move a few frames. Make sure you selected pen tool while moving the arm and also no keyframes should be selected while moving the arm, or else you will move the entire arm, like I did. Then place the arm in the new position. Now the arm stops moving for a while, when he was picking the glass. So I'll not animate the next keyframe. I'll make a new keyframe and make the arm go up. You may want to adjust the arm. I will not animate the glass. I will go to the time where he starts to move the hand. And, I will enable position and rotation keyframe for the glass. Now I will got to the time where his hand stops moving and place the glass to its best position. You might need to adjust more after that. The animation of him putting the glass down is almost the same, so I won't bother talking about it. Just watch and learn. I will animate Tyler's eye lens a bit also. It's all basic stuff so you will understand this part if you are not new. And don't forget to put ease in in all the keyframes here. Now we will make Tyler move while walking. Select the body and head layers, but don't select the background all other objects or layers you don't want to move. After you select, right click and pre-compose the layers. It'll basically group the layers. Now go to the frame where you want him to start walking and to the position where he will stop walking and enable positional keyframes for those two positions. And as he will come into the scene, go to the first keyframe and edits its value like I do. And this will do the trick. Again, ease in effect. Now play and enjoy your animation. It's only a short demo of how these kind of animation can be done in AE. I hope you understood. It's a lot of information for you to process at first, Try your own and if you face any problems come back to the video. If you never used Premiere Pro or After Effects, try watching the basic tutorial like how keyframes works and stuffs like that. But I hope this video will be very informative and you guys will be more creative now. The tutorial wasn't perfect for a basic tutorial, and sorry for my mistakes. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Keep an eye on the channel till then.